Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain actually how you can compare uh, the performances of an account in Matomo Analytics. So this idea came from a tweet that uh, I saw and that I received, uh, which is coming here from Manuel, which is explaining, hey Twitter, uh, does anyone know how you can compare actually some periods in Matomo Analytics? Um, um, I have the feeling that actually this uh, feature is not included within Matum Analytics. So this is what it said. Um, <clears throat> so here I guess that uh, what someone would expect is to have, um, let's say, like a feature in Google Analytics where you can uh, really compare from a period to another one <clears throat> the performances of an account. So let's take, for example, here the, the demo account of Google Analytics. You have by default... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, one week of data which is selected and you would like to get uh, the information regarding the performances of these special weeks uh, where you are actually uh, that number of users, that number of sessions in compared to another week. So basically you would have clicked here and you say, okay, compare it. And then compare it to the previous period, which is of course <clears throat> the week before. And uh, I mean, it's not exactly the week, actually it's the same days in comparison to uh, the same amount of day in comparison to the current period. And as you can see, uh, you will see actually the differences of the um, the comparison between the two the two periods. Okay. So uh, that's what it's all about. And the question is really about, okay, uh, can I get that kind of feature within Matum Analytics? The answer is um, yes and no, okay, uh, because here what you can see is actually you can compare with a custom period, you can compare with a previous period, and you can compare it to the previous year. So how does this uh, all work within uh, Matomo Analytics? So first of all, you have to know that when you go uh, within Matomo Analytics, about the period that you select here, so let's say I'm going to just ask for one single day, which is going to be the 18th November 2016. Um, and here, as you can see, it's pretty weird to see that I have like many days displayed, whereas actually I just asked for one single day. Uh, the reason is that actually Matomo is displaying a graph, taking into account the current day you ask, which is uh, November the 18th in my case here. So is, as you can see, there were 38 visits on this specific day and all the performances which are uh, below here are regarding this specific period that I'm asking for, right? But by default, what it's doing is like it's showing you the graph with the day that you ask plus the 30 uh, days which were before uh, this specific day. So uh, if you make the, the sum here, you will see that it's 30 days and you can of course configure it in order to be only the last eight days. So the 19, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I counted wrong, so it's eight. You know, uh, that's the same thing if you compare, for example, on a yearly basis. So here you will get the performances for year 2016, which is up here, which is, 2812, so 2812, and all those performances are regarding actually the period 2016, and here it's over the five uh, previous periods, so one, two, three, four, five, right? So you can ask as well over the last three periods, and you cannot ask uh, just one single period. So that's where actually some users are a bit lost because they don't understand why they cannot get just the data they are looking for, but they always get actually uh, the previous. Uh, period for the given date that they selected or given period. So that's the way actually Matomo is working. So uh, why am I telling you this? Because the display actually that you will see of the graph is totally different from the one of Google Analytics when you ask actually for a specific day, for example, here, uh, let's say the 3rd of November, and then it's just show you the 3rd of November. Right? So, oh, actually I got it wrong. Actually it's displaying as well. Uh, as well, like in Matum, actually, the number of period before, but without the one that we were asking. Okay, so my mistake. Okay, so just don't be scared here. Um, it's just that it's showing you, actually, the three previous period or the, uh, the fifth or the tenth um, previous period. So if you just select one day, you will see that you have the possibility to see uh, the last uh, full years in terms of in terms of data. Okay, so that's highly possible. So um, 
why am I telling you all of this? Just because that's already one way that you can compare actually uh, the performance of uh, one year or uh, of a given week over the previous, uh, let's say, over, over the previous period, if you would like, let's say, to compare 2016 to the other. But uh, it doesn't answer to the question that you may have regarding uh, about how can I get actually uh, the information regarding the previous period, if I would like actually to compare the day of uh, today, so let's say the 3rd of November, with the previous uh, period. Um, this feature does exist actually in Mathematics, it's just it's a bit hidden, it's not available on all reports. So for example, if I would like to get here the comparison between 2016 to 2015, I couldn't get it uh, within this graph. In order to get this information, I will need actually to select the kind of data I would like uh, to compare. So in my case, let's say, uh, I would like to know if in 2016, I'm getting actually more device coming from smartphones in comparison to 2015. What I will do, I will go to device uh, straight away. So here I'm getting for 2016 all the performances regarding the desktop part. And if I would like to compare it to year 2015, what I will need to do is actually, I will need to go here down below and click actually on this feature, which is called Insights. And if I do so, uh, actually I can ask after that. So here it's comparing actually um, the, um, let's say the, performances to the previous year, which was 2015. And I can see actually um, that it seems that I lost actually in 2016 compared to 2015, uh, almost 20,000 uh, visits coming from desktop. And it seems that actually 2016 has been a pretty bad year in comparison to 2015. And what I could do, of course, is as well just to select uh, just week or let's say day, so if I just select one week, I'm doing exactly the same thing. I'm just picking it out here, the insights. Uh, the insights is gonna uh, be, um, let's say the comparison to the previous week. So that's how actually the feature is working. It's not making you like the uh, graph interface on which you can really compare and see the performances straight away with a visualization. It's just uh, through a table where it's comparing actually to uh, the previous week. So let's say if we would like to compare it straight to Google Analytics, for example, uh, we will see that we can definitely do that kind of thing, right? The previous period on the previous year, just picking out the period which was before and the previous year, but it's not doing like the custom one. So for example, if uh, you would like to compare, let's say this specific, uh, let's say those 14 first day, and I would like to compare it to just one single day, right? So if I would like to compare like those 14 days compared to one single day, uh, this is something that you can do uh, within Google Analytics. So here you will see actually that, of course, the performances of those uh, 14 days were better than just uh, one day. That's the kind of thing you cannot do actually in Matomo Analytics yet. So um, yeah, that says, so you will see actually the insights is not available for all the data, but for the main one, so for example, the one you may be interested in is mainly, I guess, the acquisition part when you would like to know actually if uh, you are getting, let's say, like a better uh, SEO. Uh, so basically, you would just select, for example, a full year like 2016 and just try to compare it to year 2015 or to see if you have done better in terms of uh, search engine marketing, let's say in general. And that's not the case, right? So uh, here, of course, if we just look at what happened in 2016, of course, we don't have that much traffic. So that may be the reason uh, why the evolution is not that good, whereas in 2015, it was pretty good. Okay, so I uh, really hope that actually um, this video is answering to your needs and that now you are able actually to uh, make some data comparison in Metamo Analytics. Thanks for watching.